Hello everyone, it's your friend Sarmid here, bringing you a beginner's guide to Kingdoms Reborn. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I hope you're having a great day today. Since we just completed our first playthrough series, I wanted to um, and show everybody what I did to begin that game. Uh, we're gonna do a new game. Okay, and then the map seeds here, I, I don't, they don't really mean anything, so I just kind of spam this. They, some of them have funny names, uh, like Koala Drop Wee. That doesn't mean anything. Mountain Love Hill. We'll do Mountain Love Hill. I've tinkered with some of these settings before and the reason why they are as they are now I will explain um, there's a small medium and large map size I would do a, a large map size but uh, since this game is still in development uh, it doesn't work that well yet so I stick with medium and as you saw in the last playthrough hopefully if, if you haven't seen that go back and check it out well how big it is it's pretty big medium's pretty large so um, it's uh, it's decent the sea level uh, medium, I wanted there to be some water, you know, too high, you don't have enough land, very low, you don't have enough water. This next game we do here, I'll do a low and just, we'll just see the difference here. Actually, let's go extreme. I'll show you, I'll show you the differences. Uh, so very low, the well, moisture, you know, you'd think, well, medium would be like a more temperate climate and wet would kind of be leaning tropical. I, I found if you go any lower than wet uh, for temperature, the deserts are just ridiculous. I'll show you dry and we'll see how big the deserts are. Uh, the mountain density, again, is um, medium. Again, I don't want too many and I don't want too few. If you have too few, uh, you don't have the ores you need. You don't have coal, iron, gold, gemstones, etc. Uh, if you go too high, you don't have a lot of nice building space. So you need to have the, that balance and medium is that balance. AI, as you saw in the last game, they're kind of irrelevant. They do throw you some gold every once in a while, uh, and they do give you some immigrants every once in a while as well. But for this one, I'll, I'll just say zero. In the difficulty, last game we played on normal, so I think I will just go with, with hard on this next game. For now, I just want to show you the uh, the differences with the sea level being low and the moisture being dry, and the temperature is low. So it's going to be cold and dry with low sea level. So let's just load this up real quick. It's pretty small pretty fast so you always have to hit generate world and then hit start game i don't know why when you hit start game it just doesn't have the generate world in the button before it but that's how it is i won't read that okay so everything is obviously more expensive and more difficult but look look at this so that one tick with dry look at how much desert there is this whole deal is desert i mean this is desert too it's tundra desert so it makes it very difficult to do like much of anything savannah is all right uh you can still build in there but like uh, your sheeps all those uh, the cattle farms those won't work in desert so this is look at all the space that you cannot build those on what you can you could still build here that yeah that would be that'd be fun yeah so we got plenty of rocks we got plenty of uh coal and iron I like that this is all connected. It's one giant landmass. Um, the our last one was kind of a bunch of kind of continent D archipelago type things, which I liked as well. Uh, but this is kind of neat. It's all together. So I wish I could see like uh, the temperatures. Let's see if we zoom in if there's temperatures at all. There's not. Okay. Uh, you wanna when you start, you wanna find a spot that has a good amount of iron and coal, like right in here. Iron and coal, 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 iron. And be careful, like we learned in our last playthrough, that there's some spots that you can't access the mountain to. Let's see if we can find one. So these all, when you build your mine, it has to have its back to the mountain. So that would work. That would work here. So I don't see one just right off the bat here. Maybe this is it. No, there isn't. Um, so just be wary of that when you're building your first place. Make sure that your coal and your other mines are actually there. I don't know why the one the one tile I had was like that, and now I can't find another one that's like that because it looks like all these other ones are uh, have a mountain in them in the province, so that's good. Um, you're also gonna want to be wary of your rivers. Like this is a river. Notice how there's all sorts of trees and stuff by the river, as there would be, just like the Nile is in the desert. You want to have that. That's where you build all your farms, and you saw that in our last episode. We had farms on farms on farms. So many farms for the food mostly. But you need farms for uh, the luxury items. Uh, here's grapes. You can use that for food and for wine making. Tulips are for luxury items. So mostly lu luxury items are on the farms. There's cocoa there. Yeah, so be, be aware of that. that you're going to want to have a, a lot of farms. Um, let's see if we can find a nice... This, was, this could work here because it's got the farms all. It's a big, nice 
streak of um, river here. But yeah, so that's that's the beginnings of where I think you should pick where you want to start. You want your iron, coal, farmland. So when you pick a province, let's just say we're going to pick here. We got, you know, we got the uh, iron and coal is a little ways away. Maybe this side would be better. Your fertility rate of 12%, which isn't great. But you have the whole line down here of uh, the river coastline. So let's if we can see fertility. So yeah, you can see it's nice and green. It's happy. And then of course this is desert so there's it's all red it's all red it's not fertile at all what you can do later down the line which we saw uh illustrated in my last playthrough is um irrigation reservoirs and that helps to push the fertility of the river inland a little bit more so you could uh, uh, put a bunch of them down here and uh increase this land fertility here the temperature okay here's where we see temperature i was looking for that so in the winter time on uh, negative 10 to 28 degrees celsius and 14 to 82 degrees fahrenheit not bad really 14 is way below freezing of course negative 10 also below freezing so if we go north here and i'll just illustrate the temperature changes when you switch biomes see we're still in the desert here and then here's a tundra so this is down to those so three degrees to 76 degrees fahrenheit and negative 16 to 24 celsius so it gets a little bit colder as you go north as it would uh, you can see as we continue to click further north uh, it changes, it gets colder and colder down all the way as far as we can go here to negative 31 degrees Fahrenheit and negative 35 degrees Celsius. Very, 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 very cold. You know, you're going to need a lot of wood. You're going to need the coal to make the wood at the beginning. And then once you get coal, you're going to need to make sure that you have plenty of that. And it looks like there's resources around all over the place for coal here up north. And then likewise, as you go further south, it's going to get hotter. Uh, that's not the worst thing. It doesn't, there's no like... Oh, your citizens are overheating to death or anything like that. Here's 21 to 85 degrees Celsius and negative 6 to 29 degrees. Uh, the fertility is also better because we're um, uh, the equator would, would be hotter, but uh, apparently there's this nice band right here of all this nice fertile ground, which is great. Good to start with. And another thing to be aware of. Okay, so notice here the disease frequency is one. Not bad. It's hand. It's doable. But if we click this, it goes all the way up to three and it's it's even blinking at you like hey pay attention this is bad and then one even one tile up it's it's one so be careful of that i've gotten burned on that if you don't have your medicine up right away you're gonna start losing peeps big time really quickly some provinces have resources so you're like this guy's got twenty four thousand stone twenty thousand stone and this guy doesn't so pay attention if you want stone to start with which you probably would okay See, okay, see, this doesn't make sense. This says that there's no stone, but there's clearly stone in here. So that's weird. So just you guys have to pay attention a little bit to what's actually on the map. Because you can gather this with villagers. And then that gets taken up. Uh, and then you're going to want to see your base income here. So that's every round. And I think a round is a year. I could be wrong on that. This is going to income with 11 gold. Or this one's 7.5. This is 2.1. Defense bonus? Uh, that I would think that a place with mountains would have higher defense. But maybe that's not worked out or implemented really yet. Uh, the combat is with those influence points um, on episode... I believe it was 16. 16 or 17 we go through combat it's very very simple put more points in than the other guy and you're pretty much gonna win and then of course the the flat area here is how much flat area and that's basically like buildable space not enough buildable space on this one hmm. i wonder why oh because that the first item you get is huge that's why so if i was going to start this one i think i would pick this would be good right in here because you have you have the water for fishing you have the this for farmland uh, temperature's decent. Uh, there's stone here. There's the one disease per year. So this, this wouldn't be a terrible spot to start. Uh, it's going to get kind of wonky with where you're going to put like your first houses and your industry stuff. Uh, but resources wise, this is good. I'm going to select something here and we'll go into the, what happens next when you do that. So this is your initial resources. So you're going to have these. This is what's in your nine out of 12 storage spaces when you put down your first little building i guess it's the town hall with some roads and a storage yard i like to have food wood medicine and tools because tools especially and medicine get harder to get you have to set up for tools so the reason why i say you want to be in the coal region and the iron region is because you need coal and iron to make steel tools now they did add in stone tools a stone tool blacksmith which is great and that helps alleviate some of that. But uh, if you want steel tools, you gotta have coal and you gotta have iron. So that's why I say grab a couple of these guys. And this is gonna be up to you and what province you pick. 
like if you were to pick that province that we just looked at that had high disease rates you're gonna want more medicine of course but you definitely want some medicine you want some tools who isn't gonna hurt uh you don't want to use up all of your money but you use up some of it for sure uh, it's not gonna hurt to have the resources you need basically to get get a good start uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and max out okay goes until you have enough you don't have enough money uh, but the storage space as well so I, I grabbed a bunch of wood because uh, as we start here you're gonna need wood to build stuff that's why i would do that okay you get a couple of things when you first start so here's a town the town hall and this is up to you on where this goes really remember you're gonna want to have room for six houses i always start with six houses because that's enough for the initial villagers and it's enough for a couple more people who come and join you later you're gonna want a lot of space for your um, storage yards until you get warehouses remember i was super excited about warehouses in the last playthrough uh because they're they're just so nice to have and in this case, I'm going to push this up to the edge of the uh, province, maybe? Yeah, we'll do that. All right, and then, of course, you want to stop right away. Because if you don't stop right away, you're you're burning your resources. And you don't want to do that yet. Uh, there's only so much time to build a house before the people who are homeless go away. So you want to pause it, put the houses down, then play the game, and then they'll build the houses, then they'll be good. So you get a little uh, starting card here. There's a couple more down here, uh, but we'll just look at these quick. Wheat seeds, trading posts, and investments. I would absolutely pick wheat seeds 100% here, every time, because wheat seeds are the basis for uh, a couple things. Basis for uh, wheat flour, which turns into bread, and wheat seeds also give you beer, and beer is a luxury item, and you want to have that. So I would pick wheat seeds here. It's true that the trading post could give you those things, but then you're spending your money on getting those things when you could grow them for yourselves and you want to be self-sufficient and not be relying on the market. And then you got to remember to go and click the thing every time you want it. So that's kind of a hassle. And then the investment, that's pretty meh to me. I would, that was the last thing I would ever pick. Yeah, so we're going to start with the wheat seeds. Okay, so you have 18 people to start with, right? You have to click that to unlock it. And then you can go down to build. Okay, so when I wanna, when I do too, when I um, decide where to put these, is think about what am I going to do in the future. Uh, you're going to want to be close enough to your industry, but far enough away from your industry that the people are not mad about being... They want to be close, but they want to be far away. So you got to kind of balance that out as well. Uh, storage yards, we know that we're going to need a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of storage yards. So this is going to... I like to keep all that stuff together. So this is going to expand out this way. So, and then I'll probably put the industry up here. And then the people can be down in this area. Uh, there's going to be farms here. They, people aren't opposed to being by the farms. But you want to be careful that you're not wasting the uh, fertility, especially in this high desert area with homes. Although the appeal is good. So let's go ahead and do... I'll just do the first couple houses here. So... I always do the space, and I showed you that in the previous playthrough because of the shrubberies you can get later in the game that increase the appeal. See, the appeal is 97%. That's pretty good, but uh, I always like to pop them in just because uh, it pumps it up. You can be over 100% appeal, so it doesn't hurt. Um, and then when you place these, you can hold shift, and you can place more than one. So I just held, I'm holding shift right now, and I left click, do another space, do another space. And now I'm going to go back to back with these like this because it fits nicely and then i'm going to extend the roads out from the bottom and to the from the top of the uh this deal here like so uh so yeah we'll just get started here and i'll just show you what happens um we're gonna absolutely need uh mm, that might be good we'll do farming so you can see that all the peeps go and they grab the supplies that you that you bought and they're building, they're tearing down the wood, and they're clearing the rocks, and they're building the first couple of houses here. And once they get built, uh, I'll, we'll see how much they cover. Let's we'll see, we're at 18 out of zero. Uh, so we're, that's why there's so many homeless, because they're, they don't have a place to be. Pretty simple. Uh, I briefly went through into this overlay menu uh, to show you your fertility. You can see the fertility, the appeal, and the animals. Uh, animals are for a, the hunting lodge. You can see that they light up here. They're all over the place. Good stuff. Uh, the appeal is the this gradient here. And then uh, 
the fertility. Green is good on the appeal, obviously. And then hide trees and bushes. I always do that. I like I like to be able to see what's going on. Okay, so it looks like we got one house built. And then your citizens unlock your research, and that's how you advance in the tech in the tech tree. So I'm just gonna close that for now. So yeah, one of these guys is four occupants. Uh six gives you four sixteen plus an additional eight. 24. Did I do that right? Yep. Uh, so that's 24. That gives you 24 out of 18. So like I said, that covers who's here and it covers a couple of people uh, down the road. And that's how I would start a Kingdoms Reborn game. Pretty uh, a lot of little things that have to come into play to make sure that you are you are off to the right foot. Oh, I think I missed the provincial overlay here. That's kind of uh, kind of ugly. So I hide that um, when I'm out here. It just shows you what all is in each region and what what income it gives you so yeah that's how you started it um i appreciate you coming and hanging out with me and seeing this this guide on how you start on kingdoms reborn um i hope you come back watch the, some other episodes i have a full kingdoms reborn playlist that you can go ahead and watch if you are so inclined and i hope to see you on the next episode and i hope you have a great rest of your day